Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add Streamlabs chatbot scripts to your stream, where you can add more interactive overlay and custom chatbot commands to your stream. Uh, just like this shout out command that I have on my stream, I can pull up a little overlay that pops up on the stream, or even something like a def command, which will be animated and pop up on my stream, and many more other possible scripts that you can add to your stream. So let's get into the video. If you don't have Streamlabs chatbot installed, uh, this is where you can install it. Uh, the link will be in the description below. So as you can see here, we are currently in the Streamlabs chatbot at the moment. And at the very bottom, you'll see this little option saying scripts. You just want to click that. If you do not see that option, make sure you connect your accounts to Twitch, which will enable that option to appear. So what you need to do is go down to the bottom left here. Make sure your Twitch bot is connected to your stream and make sure your account is connected to your stream itself. So make sure these are both connected. If they are not, um, this option will not appear. So the first thing we want to do to set up these scripts and let the scripts communicate to the bot, we want to set up a Python directory. So first thing we need to do is click on the settings at the top right up here. And we'll see this uh, directory area up here. This probably will be blank for you. Um, but we want to, what we want to do is we want to install Python and set up a directory for it so it can communicate to the lib file. What we want to do now is we want to download the latest release of Python. I'll have this linked down in the description below so you can install it nice and easily. Um, and what we need to do is we need to install the Windows x86 MSI installer. Uh, this one is probably the most stable uh, one you can use for your Streamlabs chatbot. Um, this one does work, but I'm not sure if it works with all scripts. Um, so usually I would recommend doing the bottom one down here. So once you have that downloaded and extracted, what you want to do is create a folder for the Python folder. Um, at the moment, I've got it in local disk C and it is Python 27 right here. Um, so this is the folder I have it in. So that'll come in handy when you want to set this up, which we're going to do right now. So what we're going to do is find the folder and find the lib file. So once you created that folder, what we want to do is we want Streamlabs to direct it to that folder. So what we want to do here is click on pick folder, click on yes. And then we want to scroll down to where we had it. So I've got it in C and I have it in Python 27. And so what you want to do is direct it to the lib folder, not the libs folder, but the lib, L-I-B, and then click on open have that all installed, what we want to do now is we want to download a script for the chatbot. So at the moment over here, you can just pretty much do a Google search and just find some Streamlabs chatbot uh, scripts if you search it up on Google. Uh, we have a chat, we have a, a script right here that we can add. So we're just going to download that right now. I'm going to show you how to add it onto Streamlabs chatbot. We have a script downloaded. What we want to do is locate the folder for where the scripts are. So that's pretty easy to do. And um, we can just right click anywhere on this screen and click on open script folder. And this will show us all our current scripts on the chatbot. This is where we can also delete scripts um, and add new scripts uh, to the chatbot just through here. So what we want to do is get our script here and we just want to drag that in just like that. So now that has been added, uh, we can exit out of that. And this is important to do as well. Um, once we add a new script, we want to click on reload scripts. So that kind of just refreshes the scripts and um, sees if there's any new folders or any new, new scripts added to the, to the bot. So as you can see here, we have the new script located here. So we just click on that. So this script lets people whisper the bot for TTS. Uh, it's a very interesting script. Um, so as you click on that, You'll see a bunch of other options here. Every script will be different. They'll have a bunch of different options that you need to do. Some scripts are a lot more advanced than others. So there'll be some readme uh, files in them, so which you'll need to follow along with. Um, but this is just a example for now. Yeah, so once you click on it, you'll see a bunch of these options that you can select and mess around with. So with some scripts that you use that might use uh, overlay or your OBS overlay, just like this script right here, the shout out command where I get a little pop up on there, they will require an API key. So make sure when you're setting up those scripts, 
um, that you're clicking on insert API key and then clicking on yes. Uh, that'll just let it communicate uh, with OBS or whatever browser source you have on OBS. A few different scripts here. Um, as you can see, I have the cast overlay, which gives an overlay for so when someone gets shouted out. I also have a clip redeem. So if someone posts a clip of my channel in the stream, uh, they'll get points and currency um, for, what they, for what they clip. Uh, we also have like a first command as well. So whoever like comes into the stream first um, will get points based on that. Um, so as you can see, there's a bunch of other different scripts. As you can see, I've got a, quite a few here. But yeah, there's a lot you can use here. We have a slots mini game, so people can like gamble away their points with, throughout the slots, or like a um, they have, we have a uh, gamble one as well too. Um, but yeah, there's a there's a bunch of uh, scripts that you could use, and there's a bunch you can find on Google. Um, you can even commission some people to make scripts for you if there's something that you want. A couple of questions that may come up if a script that you put on doesn't work. Um, make sure you've got the uh, boxes ticked over here, for so the, the enable button over here. This will turn the script on. Sometimes also if they don't work as well, uh, sometimes you have to click on the reload scripts. If you've changed some settings throughout the scripts, um, you might need to reload the settings and refresh it. Uh, you'll also have a little option up here that'll say logs, and this will just show you what uh, scripts that you've added to your stream. And at the top right up here, you'll see a little button saying errors. Uh, these will be all the errors um, that the that the bot couldn't communicate with. If there's any scripts that you saw in this video that you want me to cover or you want me to set up, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'll be more than happy to make a video about some of my favorite scripts that I use for Streamlabs chatbot, because some of them are pretty cool and some of them are very useful as well. So that's a bit of a shorter video today, but we've kind of just covered how to download scripts and how to get it all set up. So whenever you want to create some scripts or add some scripts to your stream, and uh, they can be very useful. They can be used for a lot of different things for your stream, whether that might be through custom commands or giving out certain currency or points to, uh, to viewers on your stream or even having a bit of overlay on your stream as well. Thanks for watching and thank you for all your support in the last couple of months of starting this YouTube channel. You guys have all been very supportive and very helpful with my videos. All feedback is always appreciated. I also just recently opened up a Patreon account. So all support there goes a long way for the YouTube channel. That lets me buy streamer products that I can review for you guys and uh, use for these videos. But thank you for watching. Uh, make sure you leave a like on the video or, or leave a comment. Um, I also stream on Twitch four days a week. Um, if you have any questions about any of the videos that I make on here, you're more than welcome to uh, ask them on my Twitch channel. I'll leave it in the comments down below. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Adios.